Hi, my name is Josh Cohen Collier, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to deal with misalignment in JSON data sources when you're putting them inside of table components. Let's take a quick look at this example clip set up here. Something that's a unique problem to JSON and XML data sources is that sometimes your data can get out of alignment if there are values missing for certain elements. For example, let's make a table with the name and number of people for each reservation. The first table column is going to be our name, and the second table column is going to be the people value, which is the number of people for each reservation. So it's obvious right away that something is wrong with our table. Tyrion is showing a reservation with two people, but if we look at our data source, we can see he only has one reservation. Also, the reservation of two people has no name on it. Since there are only three reservations with names, but five in total, we have a misalignment of data. This is because anytime you have missing nodes in a JSON or XML object, it simply skips that instead of returning a blank value where it would have been. However, for JSON data sources, we can get around this by using the special KF fill elements function. For data sources that are missing nodes, it will return a blank value in its place. Let's do an example now. As with any XPath function, to edit manually, all you have to do is double click on the blue text inside of the formula bar. For the KF fill elements function, we start typing directly to the right of the at symbol. The first parameter is the entirety of the XPath excluding the node that you're looking for. The second parameter is the node that you're looking for that is sometimes not there. We're going to put that inside of quotation marks. And now you can take a look at our table and see that the data is properly aligned with blank values for missing nodes. If we evaluate this here, we will see that we are now getting five items with two of them being nodes that are blank. Well, that's all for now and thanks for tuning in.